are you looking to increase your design skills and productivity? From sketching, surfacing, assemblies, and everything in between, our books have you covered. Purchase a paperback or PDF version in our store today. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I'd like to share with you today a really nice little example of the kinematics package in NX. And I've had a little fun with this. I've created a model, as you can see. It's a model with some components, and it has this sphere, and this sphere represents great design. And great design has, in my view, certain components and many components actually, but <clears throat> one of the most important components of great design is creativity. So there's a little piece of geometry that represents creativity. And then there's hard work. And then there is also attention to detail. So these are all really important, in my view, uh, uh, components of creativity and of, of, uh, of great design. And uh, it's nice to be able to just envision something, sometimes something crazy, and uh, see how things would react. So if I had this piece of geometry and it was spinning, and these little pieces of geometries just fell onto this spinning kicker, if you will, and then they settled into this, well, I call it the wok, and the wok was spinning. I wonder what that would look like. So what I've done is I've created a simulation. And the steps in creating the simulation are very similar to the animation package, but the kinematics package is more powerful because it can actually emulate gravity, and um, bouncing um, objects to objects. <clears throat> so the way to proceed is you have an assembly or you have um, just a model um, with different bodies. And the very first thing you do is create your motion bodies. And in order to cre create motion bodies, you, you select, uh, select object. You actually select the object that you want to select uh, and then you hit this little button right here that um, will calculate the mass properties. You give it a name, and then you say OK. So as you can see, I've done that. Here's uh, S1. I call it S1, S2, S3. Those are the uh, solids uh, that are associated with this sphere. And then there's uh, the kicker. This is the kicker. And this is the kicker pivot. There's a little pivot under here that the kicker rides upon. Uh, then there's the wok. This is the wok with all these holes in it. The wok pivot there. And S4 is the sphere, this little doodad that sits inside of the, the closed ball. So I've got all those parts. Um, and you know that's easy. You just go to motion body, and you go through the motions, so to speak. Uh, next, uh, I made um, the joints. So if you go to joints, you can see that there are many different types of joints. There's fixed joint, there's the slider, the cylinder, the screw, the universal, the sphere, spherical joint. Uh, all of these are very, very powerful, and the one I most use is Revolute. And the Revolute joint is uh, created in a very similar way to the joints that uh, I've shown in videos uh, now that are associated with the animation package. So what you do is you select a body, you select another body, you select an origin, you select the vector, you give it a name, and you've got a revolute joint. And the vector, of course, is very, very important. It's nice if that vector is associated with some, uh, some of the actual geometry you could use. Uh, the coordinate system, uh, a CSIS, whatever. So as you can see, I have a fixed joint on the kicker pivot. 
that's this. I've got a fixed joint on the walk pivot, that's this guy right here. I've got a revolute, uh, the kicker revolute right here. I've got the walk revolute right there. And I've got another fixed joint um, on some other things. So I have all of these uh, all set up. Here's my joints. And then in order to have these things bounce against each other, I've made contacts. And so, uh, for example, let's just hide these for a second. So, for example, if I want to make sure that when this ball falls on here, it bounces off of here and then ends up bouncing off of the walk, I've got to create a 3D contact. You click on 3D contact, you select the body that you want it to want to contact, you select something that's going to contact to or with. In this case, I'm going to use the uh, walk uh, kicker or the walk, uh, the walk pivot. And uh, so that means that if this drops through and it gets kicked by this and then it bounces around here, it won't accidentally just go through this hole because this hole actually is, um, is, is filled with this pivot, but I've got to make sure it knows that. So when I uh, do a 3D contact, you can see there's a static coefficient of friction. I'll put that at 0.6. And um, you have, uh, uh, you've got your Coulomb friction. I'm going to put that on. So, so now all of this applies. And you have your um, material damping, which if it's not damped, it bounces much more. So I'm going to call that one and say, okay. So that's how you um, create contacts. That's nice. And they leave these nice little indicators. Okay. And then there's drivers. So when you drive, when you click on, on a drive, uh, you can apply it to joints. So here's a joint driver, here's a motion body driver. So uh, what I do is I select a joint. So for example, um, you know, this kicker. And then I can go into all these different ways of defining the actual motion. A polynomial is very simple to understand. See, there's a velocity, there's an acceleration, there's initial velocity. So you can just fill all these in and then hit apply. You can give it a name and hit apply. So as you can see, I have uh, two drivers here. And then I'm pretty much ready to go. Now, I like to say Control W and hide everything. And then just bring back the solid bodies like this. So that's a very nice way of, you know, cleaning this up before I go and I hit solve. So I'm going to click on solve. And uh, since there's so much going on, there's over, uh, what is it, uh, 10 different bodies and uh, seven different joints. And what does it look like? 10 different contacts and two drivers. There's a lot that this thing is going through. And uh, when I set up the solution, I gave it a 10-second uh, um, second time frame. So there's really a lot that it's going through. So I'll probably pause the video and come back when it's done so I don't bore you to tears. So as you can see, it took several minutes to uh, come back. Uh, but here it is. It's the uh, display of all the steps that it took as it went through. And now we can go to results and hit play and see what happens. Well, there you go. So as you can see, there was turning here, there was turning here. It turned so quickly that the ball didn't fall through the hole. It just kind of swung out and these little pieces got hung up. I guess they were ready to be centrifugally thrown out, but the uh, great design that we started with was made out of hard work, attention to detail, and creativity. It's a really powerful package. It works very easily, easy to use, and um, really kind of amazing. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please uh, like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we are definitely 
putting a lot into these things and um, making more content available so that folks can learn these techniques very quickly, use them to their great advantage. Thanks again. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries.